Last year, we got to see the long-awaited Intel ARC series GPU lineup ARC A770 and A750, and the immediate responses were not as good as developers were hoping for. Because it was new to the GPU market and is already several generations behind compared to other big competitors such as Nvidia and AMD which caused a major drawback. And you can't really blame Intel because releasing techs such as modern graphics card requires generations of improvement, especially in terms of optimized GPU drivers. And right now, it seems like Intel is on the run to prove itself once again by targeting even bigger goals with the Battle Mage GPU lineup. And from what we are seeing and hearing so far, they seem to have even more confidence than they had with their ARC lineup. So will it live up to its potential? Let's find out. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Battle Mage GPU has been a point of discussion for a very long time, ever since the ARC series got released. But recently, a YouTuber named Red Gaming Tech leaked the roadmap featuring Intel's upcoming plans in the near future, which immediately caught the attention of many GPU enthusiasts once again. And if this information is correct, Intel is likely to unveil the Battle Mage in the second quarter of the next year. As for the performance, this series is not going to compete against other high-end GPUs such as RTX 4090 or RX 7900 XTX. Their plan is to compete in mid-range variants such as RTX 4080 and 4070 models. YouTuber Red Gaming Tech has also shared even more information about the internal specs speculation for Battle Mage GPUs. Here, he pointed out that the GPU is likely to have 64 XE cores, 3.0 GHz of clock speed, along with 256 bit of memory bus speed and 48 MB of L2 cache, which in comparison to RTX 4080 has more GPU clock speed with equal memory bus speed. However, there is a difference when it comes to Nvidia's GPU clock speed, which in some cases can exceed higher level performance due to overclocking. On top of that, the Battle Mage seems more efficient as the chart also mentions that the total board power, which is only 225 watts, whereas the RTX 4080 consumes 320 watts of power. On the other hand, Intel is a bit skeptical about Nvidia's latest AI-driven frame generation technology, as WCCF Tech mentioned in their article about Intel's take, which they say is unwanted for AI to do that kind of work. Even though the XESS technique, Intel's version of Nvidia's DLSS, is also driven by AI hardware. So will there be any new version of upscaling technology? That we don't know, but since there is going to be a more powerful version of Intel GPU, there should be a whole new version of the XESS upscaling, which might eventually also help improve the overall ray tracing performance. As the latest news and rumors suggest, if everything goes smoothly on Intel's side, they might be able to take on the mid-range GPU market by storm, if the proper value is given in terms of the price range. So could this be a major turn of events for Intel's latest GPU lineup? Nobody actually knows since the official announcement of the internal specs and performance has not been disclosed yet. But as far as these leaks go, people certainly have high hopes for the Battle Mage, especially mid-range PC builders and gamers. So that's all about the upcoming Intel Battle Mage GPUs. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment down below to let us know what you think. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.